Hi guys, I hope you're all doing well. As you can see from the title of today's video, we're gonna be talking about my Doc Martin boots and sandals. So sharing with you what I love about them, what I don't like about them, whether they're worth buying, any products that have really helped walk them in, whether I found them painful, basically everything you would want to know before investing in a pair yourself. And I think I've got pretty much the most like classic pairs of Doc Martens. And hopefully this video will really help you out. So the two pairs that I've got, right, we're gonna go through each pair individually and kind of talk through all of the different kind of features and stuff. So the first pair I've got are these, which are the Doc Martin Jaden boots. So these are a really gorgeous pair of kind of classic style boots, but with the chunkier sole, which is actually the reason that I really love them in the first place, because I wanted this really nice, like big chunky sole, because I think it just looks really, I don't know, I think it, it's quite a like, it's quite a chunky boot, but I still think it can be quite feminine depending on how you style it. And I've absolutely lived in these since I got them. So I think I got them back in like, I wanna say maybe like September to November time last year. I got them kind of just before second lockdown and I was terrified to wear them at first because I'd heard so many stories about how much they hurt to walk in, how they're just agony. And I kept them in the box for a couple of weeks because I was so scared to wear them. And then eventually I did cave and start wearing them. But the one thing that I wanna mention quickly at the beginning of this video, because it is, it, it's been my absolute savior is the double dot socks. They are game changing. I have never, ever, 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 apart from one time that I didn't wear them because I got a bit cocky after a couple of weeks and decided I was gonna wear them with normal socks. I have never had uncomfortable times with these shoes. They've never hurt me, they've never rubbed, I've never had blisters apart from that one time. And this is what they look like. So they are kind of expensive. They come up at about 10 pound a pair and you can get white ones, black ones, this color, like green, there's all different colors, but I kind of went for the neutral, the white and the black. So I have three pairs and they're basically double layered socks, which are designed to make Doc Martin boots more comfortable. So inside they've got like a slightly different fabric. And the whole point of them is that basically when you wear them, the layers like rub together. So it rubs on that and not your foot. So over the toes is a little bit thicker. It's got this like ribbed bit on the top. Essentially just every area that it would hurt, there's a double layer. So they've been an absolute game changer because my boots have not hurt me at all when I've worn them. And like I said, I've had them for a few months now and I wanna say maybe like the last month, of wearing them so i've worn them a lot with the doc socks and now i think they've kind of loosened up a little bit and they've got a lot softer so now i can wear them with normal socks and they don't hurt at all the only bit that i will say can be a little bit uncomfortable and scratchy is right where the zip is here there's like a little bit that's a bit stiff so i'm just going to like file it down with a nail file and hope that helps but they are really comfortable boots the only thing i will say that i found a little bit irritating which is completely my fault is that on the one boot the tongue is slightly to the side which is just down to the fact that when i've worn them that's kind of how it's gone and i don't really know how to like train it back again apart from maybe like making it warm and then like molding it again or something but it's not really something that i would say is necessarily a problem it's just the way that i've personally worn the one shoe and i think it's where i'm driving and like my foot that uses the clutch obviously gets moved a lot more, so I think it's just pushed it to the side. But other than that, super, super, super comfortable, really durable boots. And for the fact the sole is so chunky, I actually find them really comfortable. I think they're just, I don't know, I don't know what it is about them, they're just the comfiest boots. And they are honestly the best money I've ever spent. I think they cost me 179 pounds and I would absolutely spend it again. So I'm thinking about getting a potentially like a different color, maybe like the kind of ox blood color when it gets to next autumn, because I just, I wear them so much, it makes sense to buy another pair. But yeah, really, really love these. And just quickly before we go off those onto the sandals, I wanted to mention the protector I use. So I do have, I don't know where for the life of me it has gone, but I have got the little dock protector like wax rub don't know where it's gone i literally had it the other day on the side and it's now disappeared again so i don't know where it is but i also have this one which is a premium protector i got this from i can't remember where i picked it up from but i actually bought it for a suede handbag and it's basically a protector for boots bags hats etc basically any fabric and leather so this is really good for like i said suede bags but also suede boots and leather boots. So you literally just, I mean, I've got a makeup brush that I've never used and you literally just like dust it on and just like 
it's really good so that is a spray and you just leave it on for a little bit and then you spray it i think twice i can't remember but it's really good so i'll leave that link down below along with the doc martin one which when i find it i will use on my boots because i bought it at the same time as the doc socks never got around to putting it on the boots and i really need to because i want to protect them and keep them safe and then we have my sandals, which actually was the first thing into my life from Doc Martin. So the boots I bought, like I said, at the end of last year, and these sandals were kindly gifted to me by Office. I want to say maybe like May, April, May time last year, so 2020. And they have been worn a few times outside, but obviously given the current situation, they haven't been worn as much as they could have been. But I've definitely worn them on at least like nine or ten occasions that I can remember off the top of my head. So these are the sandals that I've got. These are the Griffin quad sandals. So again, with the really chunky sole, which you can probably tell by now I love. You can buy the Griffin sandals without the chunky sole, but they look a little bit different. So I'll leave those linked as well if you're interested. But like I said, these are the quad ones. They've got this really chunky tire-like base of them and it's slightly elevated at the heel, so it gives you a little bit of height. And they have the three leather straps with the kind of dirty bronze buckles here and then the classic little Doc Martin tag at the back on them. But they are honestly, the chunkiest sandals ever and they are quite heavy like if I wear these on holiday which I have done once I wore these on the plane because I didn't want to make it so that I got on the plane and I had a really heavy suitcase so I thought just wear the ones that are like ridiculously heavy on the plane but these are about 100 and something pounds again I'll leave the links obviously so you can see but they are a really solid investment and every time I've worn them I get complimented on them they are a really great sandal however these did hurt when I first got them. So I wore these for the first time when, when did I first wear them? I wore them for a walk and they were fine. And then I wore them the second time and I can't remember where I went, but it was a really hot day. And I remember someone saying to me in the comments on Instagram, when it's a really hot day, they rub a bit, so be careful. And I thought, oh, okay, like I'll bear that in mind. Got really hot and obviously they started rubbing and they kind of rubbed on this back one here and on the side bit here, so like this little bit here rubbed and the back and I ended up with really bad blisters and I had to loosen the shoe and just kind of grin and bear the pain and just like pretend it wasn't happening. They have hurt my feet on a couple of occasions. Sometimes they're absolutely fine and they don't hurt at all and then the odd time they have actually hurt and I found the more I wear them the more they don't hurt but I think that's just because they're softening up and getting used to my feet and I've heard various different wise tales of how you should soften the leather up but when they hurt it's kind of like this little bit here rubs just over my toes and it's the back bit so obviously where my heels like going up and down because it moves in this it's kind of like rubbing on that back bit there a little bit but I wouldn't say it's like the most unbearable blisters it's just a normal blister and it is really irritating but I think it's just part and parcel of buying Doc Martens to be completely honest and when I bought my boots I actually headed into the Westfield store in London specifically looking for the Doc socks and for some protector and I spoke to one of the guys that worked there and just said like look they've cut my feet a few times what do I do and he basically recommended to wear these inside the sandals around the house for like every day for like a week or so just so that your sock kind of takes the blow of the sandal but it also helps to soften the leather up a little bit and then they should be fine but that being said I haven't worn them enough to really give like a full proper in-depth review about how they are long term but they're so cute and I've had people on Instagram say to me that they've had these before and they've worn them for a while and they end up being the most comfortable shoes ever so I'm holding out hope that they're going to be okay and from given that no one has ever told me they hurt long term I'm going to assume that they're going to be fine they're just really nice and I think for the fact that I've only got two pairs of dogs I don't think I could really have picked two pairs which are more like appropriate to my style and I'm really chuffed with them. I think they're gorgeous and they've definitely made me have a new love for Doc Martin, which I love Doc Martin anyway, but having these two has just made me want to own like a bazillion more pairs because the quality is great, the finish is amazing, they feel really comfortable after a while and they're just honestly the best quality shoes I've ever owned, I think. Even like compared to my Gucci boots, which were a considerable amount more money, these are definitely a lot better in terms of like the durability. May potentially be because they're a completely different style of shoe and a different leather and stuff, but I just really like them and I'm so 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 glad I got them but hopefully you guys have found this video helpful leave me a comment down below letting me know if you also own docs and how you found yours because I'm always really intrigued to find out how people have found them because I think they're just kind of renowned for being really uncomfortable at first and I know a lot of people who actually buy them second hand rather than brand new because of the fact that second hand have already been worn in but I just I don't know I kind of like the fact that new ones like mold to your foot a bit more rather than molding someone else's but wouldn't be opposed to buying them on Depop or something to be honest but 
I hope you enjoyed this video guys give it a thumbs up and all that jazz and I'll see you in my next video bye